Would you open your scriptures to the book of First Chronicles? First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9. As often as we can, I guess we should just be singing him in this church. Oh, glory to God. First Chronicles chapter 4, from verse 9. We'll read verse 9 and 10. Are we together? Like a mass choir at a count of three. It is the custom of this house for us to rise for the reading of God's word. So I crave your indulgence to be upstanding as we read God's word together. One to go. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez. Saying, because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the name of the God of Israel. Saying, oh that thou wouldest bless me indeed. And enlarge my coast. And that thy hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that he may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Our Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us. Father, let there be none of any man, but all of you. Let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder, Amen. Lift up your right hand, thunder, say, I love the word of God. Say, it is the compass for my living. Say, I love the word of God. It is my direction. It is the power in my words. Say, it is the evidence of my destiny. Say, it is powerful in my mouth and active in my destiny. If you believe it, thunder it louder, amen. Just before you take your seat, help me move to three persons. Give them a high turn and tell them congratulations. Congratulations. And once you do that, you can take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Glory to God. And people of God, in the next few minutes, please permit me to share with us when destiny becomes critical. When issues demand attention. When a shift must occur by all means. Under God possible. When desperation comes knocking and there must be a birthing. What should I remember? I will just share five things. When issues become critical, shall fire. People of God, when you are in that labor room where labor pangs are signaling that it is time for there to be a pathway to a new birthing. I'm talking about that part, that season where you know where just, just, there's nobody that epitomizes this like Jabez like Jabez sir, what are five things pastor, if I'm faced with a critical situation what are five things I should know please, I would just say it very fast because we have released the words for this service. But please always know this. So his mother, Jabez's mother, you already know. His mother was giving birth to him. Amen? And the mother gave birth to him in sorrow. Obviously, sorrow that was more than the normal labor pain. Still, the mother gave birth to him in sorrow. And the mother said, no, the name of this child will be called Jabez. Because I gave birth to him in sorrow. So, the transition of a pregnant woman giving birth to a child led to him being called Jabez. Am I communicating? Let me say it again. The transition of a pregnant woman giving birth to a child and the sorrow, excuse me, the attendant sorrow made Jabez's mother to call him Jabez. Am I communicating? And that was his name. Then Jabez grew up and said, why should I be in this kind of sorrow? Or why should my name be called sorrow? And Jabez went to God and said to God, God, please, do something different with my life. Something is not right here. And God granted his request. I'm going somewhere. Right? Jabez, Jabez's mother gave birth to him in sorrow and gave him a name called Sorrow. That transition of the mother 
moving from a pregnant woman to birthing a child, he had no control over it. Hmm? The other transition of making a request of God because of what happened and then God granting his request, moving him over to the other side, he had control over it. Now let me unbundle it this way. In transitions, you are either betting something or you are being betted into something. Please don't forget. In transition is either you are betting something or you are being betted into something. One, you have control over. The other one, you do not have control over. When transition in life throws you into situations you can't control, create your own transition. So, sir, if I'm faced with a critical situation, I beg of you, own your own transition. Did you hear what I just said? Create your own transition. Life is intentional. Let me say to you, what you called a circumstance or a happenstance that threw you into a situation you had no control over had already been controlled by somebody else. Let me give you an example. So, a woman goes to the hospital with the child and a careless nurse gives the child an expired injection and the child dies. And then you sit back and say, when did I move from having a living child to a dead child? Of course, you had no control over it, but that situation was created by somebody, someone else's carelessness. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. You were supposed to board a plane and you paid for, paid to board the plane. For, for some strange reasons you can't explain. And then you go there and they say that your name is not on the man, that you don't have a seat on this plane. And if it's an international flight, bros, there's nothing you can do about it. And then, I, so many people have been deported and they're saying, I paid, I was supposed to pay. Hey, hey, hey. English, 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 English. People of God, if it is a full flight, there is nothing you can do about it. Maybe somebody somewhere, intentionally or unintentionally, decided to tamper with something and then you have left that flight. But trust me, if you matter, you can also cause another person to miss being on that flight because you, I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So when life's transition throws you into a situation, Create your own transition and walk out of that situation. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. You didn't used to be diabetic when you were in your 20s. You walked into your 40s and you, and you became diabetic. Now that you found yourself here, create your own transition with the word of God and walk out of that. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Jabez was thrown into something he doesn't know where it came from. But I am not going to be a victim of a transition I don't know of. When I myself can create a transition in critical seasons, create your transition. Am I communicating? By all means, don't let situations find you where they kept you. Am I communicating? Lift up your right hand, thunder, say, I break out. I need you to thunder it again. Say, I break out. Can you shout it again? Shout, say, I break out. Can you thunder it again? Say, I break out. Can you scream it again? Shout, say, I break out. Can you shout it again? Say, I break out. Let your amen thunder louder. Let me say this now. If you read the scripture, the Bible says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren hmm? and his mother called him his name Jabez saying I bear him with sorrow the Bible says Jabez was better than all his brethren I don't know whether you are getting what I'm saying that even on this level in this sorrow 
full level. Now you better pass. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. When situations get critical, when you sense a shift, don't benchmark your destiny with others. People of God, reach out for the fullness of who you ought to be. Let me tell you the deception of Jabez. He's looking at his brethren and telling himself, let me better pass you. This one that does not have money. This one that does not have a, am I not the voice? Am I not the number one here? Am I not the, but Jabez knew, even though I'm number one in this family, I have not reached the fullness of who I am. So when I'm saying to God, oh God, bless me. In the, I'm, I'm not saying it because of my brethren. Now me better pass them. I'm saying it because I have more to offer. I'm saying it because my life should make more sense than it is. So, sir, never benchmark destiny by those around you. Am I communicating? Somebody help me to understand say there is more to my life. I need you to say like you mean say there is more to my life. People of God. How could, you know, I mean, any man can sit down and say, I'm, I'm the, maybe he had five siblings, six siblings, seven siblings, eight siblings, and he's saying, God, you know, I'm better than look at them. All of them. Now, me is honorable. I'm more honorable than them. But destiny is not about who I'm compared. The Bible says, they that compare themselves with themselves are not what. Sir, I need you to understand it. Walk according to your mandate. Don't ever walk according to your results. Sometimes people will be clapping and say, but we have tried. We have tried. We have tried. We are doing well. We are doing well. Sir, a man of destiny. You're doing well is not what God told him yet. People of God, you are what people are celebrating. Never fall for the temptation of having a premature celebration when destiny is still knocking. Premature celebration. You sit down and tell yourself, ah, I don't try. Sir, Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But sir, I better pass my, my people. People of God. I like the fact that there's a generator we call I, I pass my neighbor. But you see that you pass, you pass your neighbor. Now only your neighbor you pass. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. That, that you pass your neighbor. Now only your neighbor you pass. Because if we bring that your generator to power this house, this microphone in, alone will shut down the power of that your, your, your past my name. Sir, listen, you're going somewhere. When destiny knocks, please don't compare yourself with, uh, I'm better than my brethren, but my name is still solo. I'm better than my brethren. I'm not living the fullness of my destiny. I'm better than my brethren. But there is so much more to my life. I'm better than my brethren. So I will not sit down in the midst of those that I'm better than. I will not be celebrating myself in the midst of those that I'm better than. I cannot begin to congratulate myself when there are still my ahead. Some of you know the vision God has shown you. God, some of you know what God has said to you about you. Then you sit down in the midst of the people that you are better than and say, after all, I'm better than you. I'm better than. I am not here to count how many persons I'm better than I am here to look at the blueprint of God concerning my life you know the reason why no matter what God does through me it looks to me like I have not started it's because I've not scratched yet what he said you know why I don't post to know who is competing or who is not competing I don't have time there's so much God has said I feel like we are running out of time to fulfill the mandate of God upon our life you can't stop to answer every dog that is barking you can't stop to tell them how better you are you have a destiny to fulfill they that compare themselves with themselves are not wise don't look at who you are better than Look at the blueprint of God for my life. Only mediocre men console themselves with the misfortunes of their neighbors. 
after all, look at what happened to this person. You yourself, it didn't happen to you. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Only mediocre console themselves with the misfortunes of their neighbors. Do you have the same quality of your Sunday Abashara? And then they are, let me tell some of you the reason why God won't let you settle because there's a way he takes you. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. There's a way God takes you. The reason why God, God, please, this disturbance, you're disturbing me. Are you disturbing other people? Are you pushing? Are you giving them the burden? There's a way God takes you. Am I communicating? I told one of my sons and I said to him, listen, let me tell you something that you need to know. I don't correct people who are not my sons. I don't talk to them. I don't correct you because I shall know that you are no, you are not anywhere. You are not connected to me in any way. But if I think you are a daughter, you think you're a son, I will bring out my fangs. I will bring out my fangs because I don't see you for where you are. I see you for where you are going to. So anything that will make me put that thing, align it to where you are. You're going to, I'm not, I will say it the way it is. But when people of God, in destiny, you're going to find fans, cheerleaders. Those who are just going to be there for the moment. And all that. But when you find people who are met, those are the ones that you're going to stand up. Because in destiny, they will always remember that there's so sad. I need you to understand that never judge yourself by. I'm better than this person. I'm doing better than this person. I'm Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But my brethren is not the goal. My brethren is not my future. My brethren is not my mandate. My brethren is not where I am going to. My brethren do not hear what I heard from God. My brethren did not know why I was attacked the way I was attacked. My brethren did not know why my mother almost died in that pregnancy. My brethren did not know why my mother gave birth to me in sorrow. Left for the devil, I should have died at birth. My neighbor did not know all that I've gone through. So don't ever come and tell me to slow down. You didn't, the devil did not slow down. When my mother was giving birth to me, Jabez was saying, please let nobody tell me to slow down. Destiny is calling my name. Too many things have happened. And Jabez was saying no. When it gets critical, never make the mistake of judging yourself with my brethren. Then when you come in one small circle, you do something and everybody celebrates you. Keep quiet. There are circles where you will get to and you do that same thing you do. Nobody will recognize you. Am I communicating? So until, except God has not shown you anything about you. Except God has not spoken to you about you. But these people I'm talking to now are those who have seen something about them. It is not that we are not grateful for every step of the journey. We thank God. God, thank you for this milestone. But then again, it doesn't look like it yet. Lord, thank you for leading us to this place. It doesn't look like it yet. Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But yet, who gave me that label called sorrow? I might be honorable, but I need some. And I still got issues to deal with. I might be more honorable. I still got destiny to fulfill. I, I might be more honorable. I still evidence I need to get. I might be more honorable. There are doors that I still need to open. I might be honorable. There are skills I still need to learn. I might be honorable, but there are places I still need to enter. I might be more honorable. My brethren, they are not my benchmark. Let me never hear from you. I'm better than them. Who is them? Let me never. Who, who is them? Let me never hear that. You see, you, you, you can't. No, no, no. You don't have an idea. The next place what God wants to take you to. Those them that you're talking about. You will come to a point in your life where you regret it. Where you will have a reason to regret. You will definitely regret benchmarking yourself with people who have no who have no space in your destiny some of you need to get back home tonight lock the door all by yourself tell God show me me just show me me I need to see me because I need to see me let those who want to do life on that dear purposeless scale, let them do it. Show me me that I will move according to where you want me to move. 
don't judge anything that the man of destiny does. When you see someone showing so much commitment to what they are doing, don't judge them. There's something burning in them. There's something burning. There's something. There's something burning in them. There's something burning in them. Am I communicating? There are things that happen. You don't have an idea. There are things that God will be pushing you to. I just woke up and I, I said to my people without any plan, nothing. I didn't even say to anybody, nobody knew about it. I just realized and I said to my myself, you know, there's a country we need to get to. And I don't, boom. And everyone, when I passed away, we didn't plan. What, what's going on? What's going on? I just said, I'm led that we need to do that. In one of the services, while I just went to just, you know, someone sent me a message and said, my president is trying to reach you. We're taking care of all the bills. People of God, don't benchmark yourself with your brethren. They didn't hear what you heard. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Don't benchmark yourself with your brethren. They don't know where God is taking you to. People of God, you see this place? It might be tough. It might take everything from you, but push destiny. Nobody has ever died fulfilling destiny. Take my word for it. Nobody, except God didn't send you. Except God didn't send you. You might shake. Your body might get tired. You might get weak. You might sometimes second guess yourself. But nobody has ever died fulfilling destiny. Job said, even though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. The question is, did he slay you? So, sir. I, if this is all I can, don't come on, my bread, you know, my bread, how do you, you, you are unmarried and you are looking at other people, at least there are, there are other people that are in their 40s and 50s that are not married, excuse me, excuse me, am I, are we, are we doing a, a community trouble here, are we sharing our community challenges all together, no, my mandate is different. You sit back, you know, sometimes you sit back in a circle and you have reason to gossip about others, about what they didn't do right. You know, this person, this person doesn't know what he's doing. That person doesn't know. What Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. If you know where you are going to, you understand that I don't have time to discuss this person. Did you hear what I just said? So you will be too focused that there are people that will no longer be issues in your life. Am I communicating? Jabez might be more honorable than his brethren, but he never sat down and said, yes, I'm more honorable than my brethren. Let me go and sit down. No, that's not what I came. I didn't come here to look at others. I didn't come here to know how better I am than them. No. Destiny is calling me. No. I'm not going to settle where they settled. No. There's a burning in my heart. No, there's something rushing through me. And like I would always say on the altar, you anoint David in First Samuel chapter 16. People of God, he will not show up the next chapter and will not make give a good account of the oil on his life. People of God, you see a small boy that rushes out among the military people, and, and he's going, small, small boy, you, small boy, and he's rushing out. Excuse me, sir. And he's looking at other people that are in the in the army. Excuse me, what shall be done to the man that will kill this idiot and remove the reproach from you know Israel? And then somebody will sit back and say, Who is this little brat? When did he start? Where who gave him the audacity to show up? Listen. You were not there and oil was poured on my head. You were not there. I am not trying to do what my brothers did. I am reacting to the oil on my head. Let me tell you, like this example I gave right now, there are seasons when God says go. Don't let him dot the eyes for you. Just go. Just go. The seasons where God just tell you go. When you feel that notch, just go. Just go. You behave like a madman. I heard go. Just go. Just go. But if He sends you, 
Once that obedience, once you obey, watch God. Watch God. I just saw it and I smiled and I said, God, this is you again. Am I communicating? Once he says, go, just do what? Go. When you get to critical seasons in your life, never forget. Don't benchmark yourself with others. Am I communicating? And people of God, understand this. Jabez said, oh, and he made the prayer of Jabez, called on the God of Israel. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. Let me not stay on this prayer. I love, I love Jabez. When we get to heaven, one of the people I will want to meet is Jabez. Don't ask me why. Short story in the Bible, but extremely very profound. But this is not my attention. That This is not what is just catching my attention. He said, and enlarge my coast. As a New Testament believer, you've already been blessed. The blessing is already on you. But Jabez added something so touching. He says, enlarge my coast. In other words, every blessed man needs expression of his blessing. I don't want to answer a blessed man, but there is no coast to show. bless me indeed. Lord, the only way a generation will know that you blessed me is by the expression of the blessing. I don't know whether you are getting what I'm saying. You are already blessed. But when he prayed enlarge my cause, express what you have put in me. He said, oh Shabaya, there's something you've done let it be expressed. There's a help you have given me. Let it be expressed. My giftings are authentic. Let there be an expression. There's something you put in me. It's authentic. Let there be an expression. Enlarge. It is not just bless me indeed. Enlarge my God. No sir, they are not separated. Bless me in the end. There's a conjunction and let there be an expression of what you've done. There are prophecies over your life. Right now, you don't need new ones. All you need, God. Let there be an expression of the blessing. The things the Lord has laid upon your head. Lord, let there be an expression. The things God has said about your children. Let there be an expression. The things God has said about your family. Let there be an expression. People of God, blessed men look like mockeries when there's no expression. A guy once died. As soon as he died, angels came and carried him. What a man. Angels went and carried him straight to Abraham's bosom. Wow. What a man. And his name was called Lazarus. Unfortunately, his blessing had no expression. He died with sores, expecting crumbs from the rich man's table. All these gifts, graces God has put in you, when will they be expressed? Every birthday adds one more year to you. All this taking under Sobala. When Lord, the prayer now is not just the blessing, 
because you know the blessing is there. Lord, let there be, an, I don't know how you're going to do it, but let there be an expression. Let there be an expression of what you have done in my life. How he will do it, he knows. So some of you need to go home and lock up yourself and say, God, express. Let this blessing find an expression. Remember again, don't fall for the temptation of saying, at least I am better than my brethren. Don't fall for the temptation and say, at least I'm doing well. I think I'm trying. No. If Jabez can say, let there be, enlarge my coast with the blessing. Let there be an expression. Then I don't think you will let Kekoto Siara. Allow God. See, what, what God, don't even sit back and say, God, I don't know how this thing is going to happen. Don't think about it. Just say, Father, let there be an expression. Don't even have a formula in your mind. Say, God, trouble the times and seasons. Trouble structure systems around me. I must find the expression. I don't know. Lord, I don't know what, but this blessing must find expression. Because the way God will do it, you will sit back and tell yourself, I wish I can stay on this matter. But I'm giving you prayer points. Things you will go home. Don't forget, Lord, show me me. The other one is go, God, please let there be an expression for what you have already put inside of me. You know, the way you think you will express it might actually be one of your greatest challenges. You know, Lord, Lord I know if they do this thing, this is what I'm going to do. This God is looking at you and say, You think that is how you're going to express your gifting? People of God, let me say one of the greatest seasons I would have sabotaged myself in life. I've been a man of prayer for only God knows how long. Until at a point, you know, people would throw it at my face many times, you know, and they tell me, you're too extra. You are too extra. And that was ever before I, I, I even started going for programs in big cities. And people would tell me, you're too extra. Eh? You're too extra. People of God, I would rather than our midweek service, I would rather they air the midweek service. And the Thursday, when we usually pray in church, I'll tell them, no, 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 don't put it on. I don't want that live stream prayer. Because that, that, that time is when I'm, I'm usually mad. So I didn't want anybody to see my madness. But I wanted them to see me as a, you know, well put together person and all that. I didn't know I was sabotaging my destiny. I remember one of the first few times I went for a program in Lagos. I tried. Because everybody was just, you know, good come and calculate. I tried. I tried. I came. I spoke quietly. I was trying all of a sudden. I don't know where that thing just came and pushed me. Hey! I didn't know that there were men that were hungry. They were tired people. If I ever, because nobody has ever seen me like that. Because what I had always wanted to project is, I wanted to project that one you people would like. But everybody was stunned. And when I was done, I was ashamed. Because I was a madman. Shame left everybody as they are catching me. But when I realized the next 30 minutes, I'm not talking about it, but I'm talking about a minister's conference. The next 30 minutes, people couldn't stop praying. People were still praying. People were still praying. I opened my eyes. I said, this thing, is it really working? And when I was done, every, oh my goodness, man of God. Oh my goodness, man of God. I say, weary confirmed. That means this weary shall be continuous. understand that the expression you are asking God for might not be what he's interested in. So that's why you need to lock up yourself and say, God, let just enlarge my express. You put something here. You are not here by accident. Express something. Ex 
Express it in me. And he said, I always will say it, in critical season, one of the things you will always pray for, oh Lord, let your hand be with me. Just put your hand on me. Lord, he said, that thy hand might be with me. Remember the prayer now is not that thy hand might be with me for blessing. He has already prayed that thou wouldest bless me a large man. He said now away from the blessing. I want your hand. In critical seasons. Make sure his hand is still on you. Lord this is not about I, go, let go, I enjoy the communion now. I enjoy the fellowship. I enjoy that. I'm to, I, I, I want to talk to you as a friend. And you talk. Let your hand be with me. Let me also conde sama. Jebi do kotsu padeyana. And the blessing aside, let your hand be with me. There's a generation that wants the blessing. They don't want his hand. No, Lord, let your hand be with me. People of God. If it is his hand with you, sometimes it may not take you to where you want to go. Ezekiel said the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me in the spirit of the Lord and set me in the valley of dry bones. Hand of the Lord. Lord, I want your hand. Beyond anything, let your hand be. Sir, you know, you know, you know what he said? That he may not grieve me. He said, that thy hand, uh, that thou wouldest, that thy hand may be with me, and thou wouldest keep me from evil. Without his hand, evil will come. Some will find the blessing on you, and they will come running with it. But she, but I've told you severally. I remember waking up in the morning and we're going for lectures, you know. And then I had, I like to, in my undergraduate, I had perfumes. I, I like to spread perfume. And I spread perfume early morning. It was my first year. It was the first year or second year. I can't remember. But one of those early years in school. Spread perfume. And I was just going to bees from nowhere. And then I kept running. I kept doing like this. And I kept, as I was running, the bees were following me. But my classmates, they were not following him. And then I, I would always go, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, catch, catch, catch. And then run, run back to, if I go to where my classmates is, the bees will follow me. Until I kept running, until I entered class. I did and then, and I kept wondering. So somebody now told me, it is the perfume you are wearing at that time of the morning. It smelled good, but the bees came for me. There's a blessing that brings those that want to sting you. You smell great. Everybody who is coming for you will not tell you your perfume is nice. There are things that come to sting. That is why, Lord, keep your hand on me. Because I know there are things that follow sweet smell. There are things that follow lovely fragrance, but their intentions are wrong. They love the smell, but they want to stink. Keep your hand on me. That no evil will not come near me. In critical seasons, never live without his hand. Never allow somebody new into your life without his hand. Keep thy hand that no evil will come near me. He said that he may not grieve me. And God granted his request. Never forget this. In critical seasons. Remember, it's not about your brethren. It's about the weight of your destiny. Rise up on your feet.
Would you lift up your two hands to God? I decree that great grace speaks over your life. There's so much God wants to do through your life. At the sound of your amen, let it find expression in your destiny. His hand is already with you. And evil will not come near you. Things that follow lovely smell will not sting you. It is done. In Jesus name. Would you put together your offerings, your tithe and your partnership? strings of joy we stand to give to God because we're offering to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords make it a wave offering Let the blessings of those who have honored the Lord with their offerings, their tithe and their partnership be your portion. Every tithe I hear, hear me as I hear the Lord. Your finances will not run dry. The Lord will open the windows of heaven and pour our blessings on you that there will not be room enough to contain. It is done. In Jesus' name.